episode of Mist. This time, actually, we are playing Mist 2021. The um, game was actually completely redesigned by the original developers of the game uh, to be a little more fluid and upgraded graphics. They completely rebuilt it from the ground up. And I am excited to bring this to you. Uh, I did actually play this on Twitch. I just finished it up yesterday. So we're just going to go ahead and keep with the classic um, because I'm still not sure what the randomization is going to do. I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. And as you can see, this is in 100% three-dimensional. You can actually look around now and see the fissure, see the starry expanse, the sand under your feet, listen to your footsteps. And I am going to actually slow down my mouse a little bit. The music is all original, by the way, just to let you know. Still amazed. Really, I am. As you can see, the detail is much greater in this game than it was originally. The surf breaking against the rocks, the water detail. And the smallest of specks on the rocks. Reflections on the gears, the texture, even. I mean, Jesus. Uh, I did actually, during my travels, find something that I didn't actually expect to find. Something that I didn't remember being in there in the original. And I will show that to you in just a moment. I've left for you a message of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island to into the imager to retrieve this message. And the thing that I found that I did not expect was actually over here. 
And apparently that points back to the book series. Um, being Tanya's grave. Now, there are some aspects of the game that have changed, and uh, that is perfectly alright. But, just the game itself, the feel of the game is massively different than what it used to be. Like, for instance, these, they just used to be push buttons, and now they're actual lights. Um, as far as the puzzles are concerned, they are quite identical to the original. Uh, there are, again, certain aspects that have changed quite a bit. There's the channelwood tree. And you're not just limited to the path, you can actually walk on the grass, get as close to the water as you want. You just can't go in the water. Uh, this, in particular, used to be a couple of valves, and now it's a couple of turn dials, which honestly makes it a lot easier. I'll, uh, we'll head on up to the library, since that has also changed quite a bit. You can actually see the tower from here. Also, I don't know if you noticed or not, but the clouds are moving. Give me just a moment here. And yet you can actually take photos. Um, there's a knob on this one. This is actually a, a port from Real Mist, not the original. Uh, actually, it makes it a lot easier to control your areas on the map. Uh, the books, the red one, and the blue one, standard. Uh, I could end the game in like five minutes if I wanted to complete speed run. Um, these, instead of actually touching the paintings, you, uh, you pull the handles underneath. And the books, you've actually got one, two, three, four laid out for you. And later on you discover a, a fifth book which honestly can't be told right away right here. So uh, unlike in the original you cannot just read these other burnt books no matter how much you try. Now I will not bore you with the books themselves uh, as they are identical to the ones in the original game. Uh, there is another aspect of the game that has changed, and that is when it comes to the full motion video. It no longer honestly has the full motion video in it. And you'll see. And there was a reason why that is.
there's one thing I know to be risky. You must know. And that is the message of that one. And then, of course, we've got Akinar. And that is the blue book. And we will go ahead and continue on. See how much easier it is to actually turn and find instead of actually having to just click and wait. And then you hear the tower move. Just like in the original. And with the reflection on the floor, it actually gives it a little bit of depth. I am by no means going to be speedrunning this game. All of the sounds, all of the music are original, the voice acting is original, but they had to change some aspects due to the engine that they were putting it in. Uh, yes, you no longer actually have to climb a ladder to see the key, but if you've noticed that the keys are now recessed into the uh, tower itself. However, if you want to observe where you're at, you still have to click and go up a set of stairs or ladder. Which itself bothers me that the water is frozen up here, but yet down on the surface it is not. Granted, I might actually just break this up into half hour episodes. Um, of course, if the ages are as short as they were, then during my playthrough of this game on Twitch, um, the game was only about three or three to four hours long, but I kind of lingered in Channelwood. <coughs> because it was so it's Channelwood is one of my favorites anyway is my favorite age where the Solenitic is my least favorite I just love that It is at this point in the game right now that I could get the good ending. But for the sake of whatnot, uh, this puzzle is the same as well. the 
barrier opens if we solve the puzzle. The doors have a tendency to scare the crap out of you because, well, you know. They are incredibly loud. But we have just unlocked the mechanical age. Um, for those of you who are watching, wondering, I, yes, I am actually going to go on down here and show you the different things. Uh, the chamber room, the core chamber, is essentially still the same, even though they did change up the paneling. Like I said, all of the sounds in this game are original. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect I can all. But I shouldn't leap to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. I should have known not to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in the places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return, but if you've forgotten the access key, remember the tower rotation, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Uh, oh, and erase this message after you've viewed it just to be safe. See, they didn't use the original full motion video because of the fact that they had to redo the entire game from the ground up under a new engine. And I don't think that that engine supported full motion video in that aspect. Still, that being the only drawback of this absolutely gorgeously remade game, Granted, I already have all of the solutions to this, as well as all of my notes from a previous playthrough. I'm not going to be rushing through this. I want you guys to see the absolute detail and beauty that went into this game for the remake. What are those LEDs? <laughs> wow. Maybe the clouds are moving, the parallax scrolling, sun beams being able to actually step off of a beaten path just to look around I mean <laughs> even the oil and the water wow I didn't even notice that earlier Hmm. Of course, the mechanical age is actually going to be our shortest age. When we enter Akinar's chambers, interacting with things. Yeah, watch out for snakes. Uh, right here is the rotation simulator where we actually learn the different noises. And we'll quickly go over that. To the east. Lock it down. 
and you get it across. get the clank. And I like the fact that they actually put the noises that you hear in the game as a uh, text box. And last but not least, south to a cowbell. We always need more cowbell. Of course, you've still got the torture chamber and everything else. The thing is, you'll see what I'm talking about when I say this, but you no longer have to go to each age twice. Sarah's room. My, this is weird. I never noticed that there. But you got the various ages. You got Solenitic, Stone Ship, Mechanical. I'm not entirely sure what these are represent, but it's not Channel Wood. But I like how everything will just light up and then stay lit up even long after. You even got the bird. From the original. Let's see here, there's a button around here somewhere. But, used to... What's this? Your greed sickens me, your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied, and I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax, and you know to listen to me. Regards, Akinar. Of course, we know it is Cyrus' room, because of all the gold and wine and everything else. But this is what I was talking about. <clears throat> okay. Um, what I was talking about is you can actually pick up both of the pages at the same time. You can actually carry all the pages with you at the same time if you want. Which, honestly, in this one, we will not. You can't actually run through the holes, too. Which is an aspect that I absolutely... I don't know if it actually detracts or engages much. When it comes to adventure games. <clears throat> but, I honestly, I do not like to rush. I do not like to speed run adventure games. Granted that oh, for fuck's sake.
That's what I was going for the whole time. I don't know why it was being so fickle. going to take care of it for this episode of Mist 2021. Thank you all for joining me for this episode, and if you liked it, hit that like button. Love it, share it, subscribe if you wish, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, in all configurations of being, I will see you in the next video. Later.